If an engine was a person, the engine control unit would be its brain. But even the smartest ECU isn't going anywhere without a map. Imagine you were engrossed in reading and reached for the scalding hot cup of coffee you just made. Your senses collect information and send it to your brain. When your brain accumulates a particular collection of messages, it sends out instructions. The ECU does the same thing. It collects information from sensors located in the engine and near the exhaust. It synthesizes the information and sends messages out to the fuel injectors and the spark plugs. How does the ECU know what message to send? It consults the engine map. For example, each combination of throttle position and RPM requires a specific amount of fuel and a spark at a specific time. This information is held in a matrix called a lookup table. One axis of the matrix has RPM and the other has throttle position. At the intersection is the instruction the ECU sends out to the fuel injector. Another table holds similar information for the spark plugs. With engine speeds going from 0 to 10,000 RPM plus, this could be a really large matrix. But NASCAR limits the size of the lookup table. For example, for the fuel injector pulses, you're allowed a 15 by 25 lookup table. That means 825 different combinations of conditions. We used to change engine behavior mechanically, for example, by changing the jetting on a carburetor. Now, to change engine behavior, you download a new engine map. In order to do that, however, you have to bring the car back to the garage. You're not allowed to do it on pit road, and you're not allowed to do it while the car is on the track. You're also not allowed to keep it a secret. NASCAR is going to release all the engine maps to the other teams. And while an engine map is specific to a specific type of engine, we may still be able to learn some interesting things about why some teams are getting better fuel mileage than others. Engine maps help cars be more efficient and help crews adapt to changing conditions. But the best thing about engine maps, in my opinion, is that you don't have to figure out how to fold them up when you're done. <laughs>